hello hello there happy crafters today i am <laughs> doing a second overview or flip through i should say of my second uh quote journal it's been long overdue i promised i was gonna have it and then i totally forgot i have been working on other journals uh, for my quotes and I'm almost done with them so I promise I won't take this long to do a flip through. Now this is not necessarily a journal. Uh, this was the second year that I started working on my quotes and I found this and I told you this on the first video but so I found this little uh, it's actually a little planner at Target for three dollars and I took the pages that came out and I decided to to, oh, I had these other pages that you'll see that I've used and these are very very old they are by basic gray if you are a longtime scrapbooker you know exactly who I am talking about and I totally miss them I wish they came back because they had the most beautiful pr uh, products but it is what it is uh, I was able to get this I don't know it's it's a type of a it, well this is a calendar it's a calendar it has a pocket here and the reason why I decided to use this is because I was going to separate each month so here is January I am going to tell you right now that here is July and August so I didn't even get halfway through the journal or through this binder here uh, and then switch to another book because only a few months can fit in here and although it's really nice to look at I felt that having an actual journal would be a lot better so these little pockets that will have the month the calendars are by basic gray and I follow the same size and then just use different papers as pages so that was kind of a fun thing because I didn't have a page that I had to use or pull out I would just create it cut it in size and then stick it inside and that just made things a lot easier so uh, I don't have the list I should have the list of what the themes were for each month but they will be uh, obviously marked on each uh, set of calendars as I move along so obviously for 2017 time was my first theme I have a thing for time if you have seen uh, my latest mixed media project uh, on my Instagram account which I did not make a video for uh, I quote uh, time because it's something that anyways I'm not gonna go into detail because I'm gonna sound even more weird <laughs> but time is just something that's it has a lot of meaning to me and it just makes my brain think so there that's all I'm gonna say so the theme is Janu uh, for January was time so all the quotes in here are going to be about time and once again to try to keep the video short uh, I'm just gonna briefly talk about it and then move on I, I won't read all the quotes uh, you can always visit my face I'm sorry not Facebook page but my uh, Pinterest I have a board on my Pinterest account under white sugar designs it's called words of inspiration and now I've just started to organize my quotes according to the theme so there'll be a sub board that says satisfied which is this month's theme and then all the quotes about satisfy or satisfaction are in there but uh, at that point when I did this I did not have that but you can go through all of those quotes and find and take anything that you want from there so I've used a lot of just um, it's not necessarily mixed media but just different patterns washi tape little doilies cutouts I was trying to put the date uh, on each one because at this point I was still working on one quote a day if you saw my previous videos with regards to my quote journal I don't do daily quotes anymore because it was just it just took too long so then now I just kind of randomly you know maybe once a week work on that journal since I have so many journals that I work on so this one is pretty the page was already kind of you know the page itself was already decorated so it had this little banner here so I just use a stamped it added the tape I mean the date <laughs> and then like as always if I have little butterflies I leave them like that so that they kind of added three 
I'm gonna say 3D, but we know it's not really 3D, but so there it is just a little banner i tried to select pages that were kind of already decorated so it was easy for me um, just to add a few uh, accessories now this one here i actually drew the flowers and used some chalk uh, if i had a little piece of paper i could show you that kind of comes off i could tell you how to make that not happen <laughs> you have to spray it with a sealant but I didn't so what you normally see me doing here is I would cut the paper normally at eight and a half by eleven and then uh, type the quote on my computer and then run it through the printer and that's why it looks like there you know the paper itself already came with the quote but it didn't I typed it and then I lined it up so it would land up, you know, lay out exactly where I want it. This one is super cute. Yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift. That's why they call it a present. And this is Winnie the Pooh. I love this, you know, it's, it's, it's time. It talks about time, the present, the past, and the future, right? Uh, if you wait until you feel 100% ready, you will be waiting for the rest of your life. Sometimes you just have to go for it. I love quotes. Oh my gosh, I love quotes. They are just words that just, the words just have so much more meaning. But anyways, uh, this was just, um, I used the back of that paper here it wasn't double-sided sometimes if it is double-sided it's kind of cool but in this case it wasn't so i just decided to use the plain white uh, page behind it and then i did some um, stenciling with some inks um, this was kind of a neat little trick that i used or that i learned from i think her name she's not on youtube anymore but i think she was called Phyllis Loves Paper or something like that. She was from Australia and she had a cool a little video. I'm sure maybe her videos are still there. Maybe she's just not posting any new stuff. But that would be a great little video to show you how I did this little circle sticker here. And then this paper was again already uh, pattern paper. Just run it through my printer and then just use, you know, embellishments same thing here again i try to use uh actually a paper pad uh that all the papers kind of went together so and then you know just use different little embellishments accept your past without regret handle your present with confidence and face your future without fear i mean i could it would be so awesome for me to read them all to you but you can always pause the video and read it and write it down on your composition notebook if you want or the commonplace notebook i have one of those but because i have my journals my quote journals i normally don't do my quotes in my comp uh, my um what was it called commonplace notebook uh, with this one here, I had all these letters and I, you know, I've decided that, you know how you have lots of uh, puffy stickers that are letters like this and you run out of certain, you know, A's or B's, the most popular vowels. So, but you know what, I've decided that from now on, I'm just going to use whatever I have and just still uh, use uh, just whatever random pages, I'm, I'm sorry, fonts that I have. So be loyal to your future, not your past this was easy because it was just something that i printed it was already like that this is uh, edna from the incredibles and i think she's super cute <laughs> never look back darling it distracts you from the now super cute and easy uh, back here just some tissue paper actually printed it on another uh, a different type of paper run it through cut it and just paste it paste that on this one there was nothing to it i printed again you can see that the printing was to the side so when you do that you run a page a plain white piece of paper first to see where everything is going to line up then you glue on your uh whatever paper you actually want to use and line it up and so you're sticking two pieces of paper and then feeding it through your printer and that's how you will get it uh, how you arrange it wherever you want it to land when it prints out so the paper was already decorated I just backed it up with some pink and apparently it didn't do a good job because I see how crooked it is <laughs> look at more space here not enough here I must have been in a hurry <laughs> 
uh, just double sided, lots of little layerings there, some washi tape and some uh, little puffy stickers. Here's a butterfly and of course, there you go, how cute, always do that. Don't complain about the lack of time when lack of direction is the real problem. Isn't that the truth? Very simple, create it kind of like a little mini clipper board, uh, clip, clipboard and then just added those. It is easy just to print them out, cut them out, and then just stick them on. Again, I was trying to do January 15th, January 16th, so I was still doing good when I was working on uh, one quote a day, and then things just fall apart. But um, this was just a kind of like a journal card. I was trying to use my own handwriting, make time for yourself, very, very important. And obviously working on this uh, journal, it's what I do. Oh no, I've been off frame all this time. I'm so sorry. Oh shoot, okay. Well, hopefully you'll forgive me. Creative. Time is free, but it is but it's priceless. You cannot own it, but you can use it. You can't keep it, but you can spend it. Once you have lost lost it, you can never get it back. So again, you know, just a few little uh, embellishments here and there. Uh, because I was trying to do one a week, I'm sorry, one a day, I, I was trying to go kind of fast. This is one of those little label makers, you know, the kinds that you squeeze and it, it, it punches or it embosses the letters. That's what that one is. I should pull that machine out and use it more often. So you can see that I was sometimes gluing pages back to back, just, you know, just because that's how it worked. Um, just stickers. I was trying to use everything that I had already. Uh, you know, I wanted it to be easy. I didn't want to spend a lot of time looking through uh, just things to match. I was just putting stuff together. And you know what? It still looks good. Remember, you do this work for yourself. It's what you love. It's what you like. So don't worry about, um, you know, I used to be like that, and don't get me wrong. I used to feel like I was doing things for someone else because I was going to show them off. And then I started, you know, my word for this year is surrender, which means I am surrendering to... Um, what I mean by surrender is... I'm, I'm giving up. I'm giving up, right? Because surrender means to give up. So I'm giving up on trying to be perfect. I'm, try, I'm giving up on um, trying to produce a lot of work or trying to, you know, meet a certain quantity of stuff or, or level of uh, perfection, you know. So I'm surrendering. So I surrender on all of those negative things and just accepted that this is what it is. This is what I do. I am doing it for me and I am happy to share it and hopefully someone will find inspiration from it. And, and if not, then they just look at it and just moved along and that's totally fine. So again, trying to use my own handwriting. I normally write in pencil first. Uh, until you get better, that's what I would suggest. <laughs> uh, the problem is you think you have time. I, I, you know, I try not to talk about certain things that might make people uncomfortable. Like, you know, here, this quote is by the Buddha. I love that type of Zen thinking or enlightenment uh, just because of what it means. It, it It's not a religion for me. It is more of what it brings to me, which is all positive things. So that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> so uh, that one was by the Buddha. Today's quote is, be present. It is the only moment that matters. These are little puffy stickers here that just made that a lot cuter. Sometimes I went simple, and this here is, you know, that's very simple. I think this is a song, Jim Croce, but there never seems to be enough time to do the things you want to do. Once you find them, you have looked around enough to know that you are the one. Once you look, oops, I've looked around enough to know that you are the one I want to go through time with. Yeah. Jim Croce. It's a song. Very simple. Some washi tape. More 3D. 
some watercolor here. This was easy. I just printed it, you know, printed the quote and then just did a little doodling. See, doodling has been going since, well, this is January uh, 2017. No big deal there, right? But I have been doing that for a while. Uh, this is just some stamping, kind of the same monochromatic with brown on a brown. And these are some just little um, acrylic, that's what I'm going to call acrylic because they're kind of transparent. These little butterflies, uh, I'm sorry, flowers here. And look, this is still January and look at how many pages I have. Uh, just, you know, just... This is what I did. This is a little bit of mixed media. This was a white piece of paper and that's washi tape, lots of washi tapes, uh, stencils, some stamping and some water coloring on the background. So as you can see, I have been doing that same kind of technique for a while. All we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given to us. This was a quote from if you are a big fan of movies like I am uh, from Lord of the Rings. This is J.R.R. Talking. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but um, Gandalf the uh, um, Wizard said that. So that's where that one came from. Um, just some different types of papers. Again, I was just trying to use what I have already cut up and make it quick and go, you know, fast. And again, it still looks kind of nice and creative. So right there, that is January. And here we go in February. And I can tell you that I didn't even get to <laughs> I didn't even get, look, there's April. So and then I moved on, but I still wanted to show you so that you can see that it doesn't have to be a journal. You can create a uh, quote, whatever you want to call it, a quote junk journal. This is a binder because of the pages. Um, it was kind of easy to just add more pages to it, but obviously, you know, it got chunky pretty quickly there. So February was creativity, which was one of my favorites. So I kind of decorated this cover here and added some little numbers there to um, just show the, the days of the month. And again, just printed most of, not most, well, a lot, a lot is just run through my printer. So February 1st, I am awesome. So all these quotes will be about creativity, uh, creative process. It is okay not to know what you're doing, right? Sometimes you just got to go for it. This again was already uh, something that I found on, whenever you're looking for quotes, sometimes you will find a quote that already comes in a pretty setup or a pretty layout like this one here. So this one I just decided to grab it and then just print it. I think it's okay to do that um, because this is for your own personal use. You're not selling it so you can do a screenshot and print it. You can always give credit to the person so that you know uh, obviously they get credit and people know that you did not create that art piece. And of course, I don't remember who this person was, but this is not my artwork. So this was uh, just a simple, I, there's nothing other than just the printout. I just wanted to keep it clean. Uh, creativity is the way I share my soul with the world. Oh my gosh, that's exactly it. This is exactly why I have decided to do that because because you know these videos that's exactly why is because I wanted to share and I'm so happy that you are letting me share and that you are getting something out of it because that is the whole point right what causes creativity confidence the ability to question without fear curiosity exploring and experimenting mindfulness mindfulness thinking on how to think <laughs> resourcefulness, something to tinker with, observation, seeing problems and ideas, action, not just thinking, of thinking but doing, humility, knowing you don't know everything. That is just so amazing, so amazing. Um, quotes, I love them 
for many many reasons obviously it's it's this that little uh voice that you know you imagine talking to you and kind of pumping you out when you need it right and i i am a fair believer that whatever i put in my mind that's kind of what gives me for a force or a, a sort of power and quotes do that obviously not just the quote itself because i could just read this i could have just wrote it in my own handwriting and you know in a plain notebook but when do i go back to look at it i think that when i create pages like this i love going back to the journals and looking at them and i've said this before and and it's sometimes i just found myself recently in this position so sometimes you find yourself in a slump or where you lost your mojo for a little bit and i think that if you were to revisit something like this and then you look at it and you say oh yeah i remember you know i use you know washi tape or i or i use tissue paper oh yeah i remember that and then you kind of kind of gets you going again and it's kind of feeding uh, feeding you inspiration back into yourself so it's a dual purpose it's the fact that you created something and the fact that there's a beautiful quote to go with it so I hope that you take the time to maybe do one for yourself however it might work this might not be your way of doing it this works for me uh, obviously not once a day I work on it uh, not as much but it's still working so um, this is just I use some um, uh, watercolor pencils and I was just drawing like or scratch scratching but you know doing like that and then I went back with a brush and then just started adding water just to kind of soften the lines and then just some washi tape and a few more stickers with some stamping so that's I consider that um, mixed media i don't think outside the box i think of what i can do with the box <laughs> see i mean it just totally made me laugh right there it's it did its purpose it did what it was supposed to do which was to bring me to to laugh um, this i printed i can tell because of the paper um, it it's digital basically i made a digital uh, piece of paper so I printed this uh, book looking thing on the background uh, and it's it's all about layers I use the Photoshop a lot you, you know I've said that before so it's just layers on top of layers of digital stuff and then I printed it on photo paper added some washi tape this was my own handwriting um, with some watercolor and then that's it and I love oh my gosh this book um, this book that this quote came from is by Elizabeth Gilbert and the book is called Big Magic and I, maybe you've heard of it and if you haven't, if there's one thing you can take from this video is the fact that now you know that such book exists because oh my gosh this book is so so amazing it's, it's kind of like a self-help book uh, but she tells you stories of things she she obviously she's a writer and her whole um you know life revolves around uh, around writing which is her creative side uh and and it's her art form and the stories i can i could just sit here and talk about that book uh i remember i made a page on one of my journals when I completed the book and I posted it on Instagram and she wrote to me and she reposted my photo on her Instagram account I was blown away it was it was almost like a point where things just turned around for me where I just felt like I can do this anyways it was amazing I am telling you if just look just look for the book look for reviews uh, it's called big magic by elizabeth gilbert and the quote that came from that is what is creative living any life that is driven more strongly by curiosity than fear it was just so so awesome so if that's all you can take from it you stop this video and go look at that book right now because 
if you are a creative person like I am, it's going to change everything and how you see things. So another one here I printed from my computer on a piece of uh, photo paper because again, especially when I do uh, a page like this, I don't waste the time or the paper. I just kind of put two things. Actually, this is probably two separate pages, but I'm sure it was in the moment. So I went ahead and did two different digital layouts. Uh, here again is the Buddha. Uh, what you think you what you think you become, what you feel you attract, what you imagine you create. And see what I mean? I mean, it's such a beautiful quote and so inspirational. Uh, Watercoloring, mixed media, stamping going on over here. Sometimes that's kind of fun. Uh, lots of stamping. Uh, this technique, I use a old gift card and you put a little bit of, let me see if I have one here. Oh, I won't have anything to show you. I'll have to, um, well, let's pretend this is a uh, old gift card. You put a little bit of paint here, here, and here. However you want to line it up. If you want to have the same color all the way across or three different colors, you just put a little bit, a little dab on each whatever area, and then you just rub it on. Oh, no, look what I just did. I would never thought that that could happen. Oh, well. But you just rub it. You rub it like that, and that's what produced these lines here. I'm sure you can't see it, but it left two black lines here when I rub that. I'm going to see if they come off. Um, so just some splattering, some watercolors. Here's another. Oh, no, this is, yeah, Elizabeth Gilbert. Um, you don't need anyone's permission to live a creative life. Exactly. Do what you love, do work with what you have, um, come up with whatever you like, and that's it. That's the fun of it. And speaking of that being it, oh no, I think I have a couple more. So I didn't do anything for March, but let's see what success. So I was meant to do a success uh, cover page here uh, for the quotes that had to do with success, but apparently I didn't. This is when I was probably getting burned out that I was doing one every day. Although it doesn't seem like uh, February had 30 quotes in it. So you, you could see how hard that was to try to keep up. More tissue paper. I love this tissue paper with a doily, flowers. Um, success is liking yourself, liking what you do, and liking how you do it, Maya Angelou. Right? I mean, that's all I can say about quotes. So I think I was going to glue these together or maybe I was just going to work on um, two other quotes, but I was just moving on. Uh, and I think, uh, and into the forest I go to lose my mind and find my soul. I think this is different. This had to have been about nature because this doesn't sound like success. Look deep into nature and you will understand everything better. Albert Einstein, yeah. So I don't know what happened, but hey, I surrender. This is what I have. This is what it is. Uh, that's it. It's not a job. It is what I like to do. So it's okay if it's not 100%. So this is, oh, see, yeah, June. Does this one have a date? No. So I didn't put a date on this one, but this, I know that I have one of the themes was success and another theme was nature. So this is June. So I think what happened is I started another journal, uh, a separate one, and it, I might have gotten off, you know, so I'm not sure, but this is what it is. I have rectified things and now I'm moving on in a different direction. So just a lot of spray inks over here and that was just pretty enough. And then I cover with a, you know, shape paper here and then sprayed it. And then when I lift it off, it left everything else uh, blank. Ah, oh, see, here's another success. So maybe I just have it not in order. Success is walking from failure to failure with no loss of enthusiasm. Um, this was kind of interesting. I punched two holes here. I think I saw this somewhere. 
and then just run a little of a little piece of baker's twine and uh, tied it there and I think that is it friends oh my goodness I don't know why is this one here I'll go ahead and move it at least it'll be with the rest of the quotes <laughs> but as you can see I didn't finish and that is totally fine believe me I have tons more quotes after this book so in any given moment we have two options to step forward into growth or to step back into safety and now that is it there are no more quotes I still have all these little calendars here that I can use for something else so hopefully this wasn't too long I know someone said that you know I was I was talking too much but um, hey that's okay this is me and you can always fast forward but look at that that's what maybe two months I guarantee you there's probably about 60 quotes in here so that's why I decided to change from this type of you know book to an actual uh, quote journal so thank you so much this was really quick I will be done with my other the other journals are actual journals the small kind so I will be done with those probably a lot faster uh, even though I am not I am not working on quotes on a daily basis so thank you so much for watching if you have any questions let me know there is a a list of the themes that are going on this year for 2018 in my blog and you can print that and you can also go to my um, Pinterest page to go look for the board it's called the, I, I don't know how many I have tons of board I must have thousands and thousands of uh, pins but for words of inspiration that is the board that you want to look at if you want to go and grab some quotes for yourself because everything that's in here came from there so if i found something i saved it and then i you know used it in here so hopefully you find that helpful inspirational i know we all love quotes this is a great fun way to organize them so thanks so much guys until next time make sure you do something fun for yourself and something creative so thank you so much until next time bye